Why the formal attire? Well, I recently went shopping on the internet for the cheapest pickups that I could possibly find. And yes, I have succeeded. Watch this video until the end, it gets pretty good. However, obviously, when you're looking for the cheapest anything on the market, your first stop is AliExpress. And quite a few of the pickups I have here today are from AliExpress. So I thought that it was only fitting to, over the multiple days that I will be filming this video, wear only outfits that I got on AliExpress. Let's get started. In an effort to not spoil anything, I currently hold in my hand six pickups, four of which are just very cheap, and two of which I genuinely believe to be the cheapest pickups you can get on the internet. So I say we start with the most expensive one. So first off, clocking in at 19 euro and 95 cents, we have the Yibui model HOC BK TMB black metal double coil guitar pickup humbucker for electric guitar. I mean... I've seen worse pack. Wow, wowie. So this is just actually blatantly ripping off the Seymour Duncan Invader. However, there are markings for neck and bridge that is more than I'd expect from these pickups. Made in China, don't worry, we can tell. Four electric guitar, new. Look, it's, it's new guys. Look, it's, it's new. The output volume is clear and bright. I will be the judge of that. I paid 20 bucks for the pair. Now, I do imagine this will be quite similar to the factory pickups you get in any like really low end guitar. So I guess all that's left to do now is put them in. I must say I paid like 19.95 for these. I overpaid. <laughs> You know, I never liked real Seymour Duncan Invaders. I didn't think it could get much worse as far as versatility goes. However, these are somehow even less versatile because they are unusable regardless of genre. I want these out of my guitar now. This is a Bare Knuckle Boot Camp Brute Force pickup that I recently purchased for about 140 euro for a very special YouTube project I have coming up. And I just thought I'd show you how this is presented because it looks very similar to our next contestant. You know, some a little booklet, a nice little pick. Comes packaged very securely. Again, this is what 140 euro buys you. So while the price has gone up, I'm gonna go with the price that I originally paid. Here's what eight bucks will buy you. Elector guitar double coil pickup V pickup zebra black. It, it's, a, it's a zebra pickup, you know, just, just like the one I just showed you. Hold on to your seats. It's not as glorious. <laughs> Uh, this is this is tin foil, by the way. You know that's that's how you can tell quality. Let's unveil the boy. How satisfying is this going to be? Not at all. It, this is that was awful. All right, just go away. So I I've never unwrapped this from its tin foil. That that is an N on there. That means this is a neck pickup. I did not have the option when buying this to choose between a neck and a bridge pickup. I'll be honest with you, I was really hoping for a bridge pickup. This kind of blows, but I'll put it in the guitar anyway and show you. Day two. So I just started this pickup inside the guitar and restrung it, and just as I was trying to tune it, I realized, uh, well, there is no signal emitting from my guitar. However, I put this pickup in the exact same way I put in the one before it, so I guess this pickup not being functional saves me some work, you know, recording the guitar, editing the video and all that, but I much rather would have heard what it sounds like, but I guess you can't have everything in life, so, um, 
Next one. Now, our final three contestants all have one thing in common, which is that they were all purchased on AliExpress. So you know what that means. We have left the inexpensive territory and we've moved on to the real cheap. So for four euro on AliExpress, like four or five months ago, dual rail, dual coil, magnetic pickup humbucker for electric guitar black. You know, that's, that seems legit, yeah. I love the way these are presented. They do all come with screws. This the one thing they all had in common is regardless of how cheap they were, they all came with screws. Mmm, yeah, that's not filthy at all. No, th this this adds to the tone. This is how you get the tone by the pickup being actually like rancid. Right, so seeing as this is in the format of a single coil pickup, I sort of find myself forced to put it inside one of my strats. None of my strats are really cheap. This one goes for about eight, nine hundred bucks. However, they only made twelve hundred of these almost 20 years ago. I don't want to mess around inside any of my strats really, especially not with cheap crap like this. But, you know, anything for the content, I guess. I don't know what position this is. There's absolutely zero labeling on it to tell you which position it's for. And when I asked the manufacturer on AliExpress, I was left on red. Two weeks ago. <laughs> so I just put in this actually really nice looking hot rail, and now it's time to try it out. Why was that actually really good? I'm a bit put off by that because it's the cheapest one so far and I was 100% prepared to just roast the shit out of it. This thing has none of the characteristics of like a cheap crappy pickup that you would think. It has a very raw sound to it so it doesn't sound like compressed or processed at all as opposed to a certain brand of active pickups. And I actually really like that raw character. It's very hot as in very high output which also isn't very characteristic for these cheap crappy pickups. So it's definitely meant to be more of a high gain pickup, not that these were manufactured with any sort of purpose or intention in mind, but whatever. <laughs> now usually with this guitar, the one pickup configuration that I'm not a fan of is the second position on the five-way switch that blends the bridge and the middle pickup. But with this one, that sounded really good. Like I actually quite enjoyed the sound of that, especially with some compression so I could play a couple lead lines. I've fucked around with this for hours. So while I was originally planning for all of these pickups to meet an unfortunate fate at the end of this video, this one is spared because while I could replace it for four bucks, I have it right here. Why would I do that? I'm definitely saving this for like something down the road. I actually 100% recommend it. And I didn't actually think I'd be recommending anything in this video because it all seemed like garbage when I bought it. <laughs> so before I show you this next one, I'd like to draw a comparison once again. These are the Fender Ultra Noiseless Stratocaster pickups. You'll find they're in a beautiful hard case, packaged wonderfully, made wonderfully, and they sound incredible. Now this is the black single coil sound pickup for six strings electric guitar, Harmonious. And I don't think you're ready to see the price. Now it says one euro and 41 cents, however here is my order confirmation because I bought this months ago back when it cost one euro and 37 cents. 100% brand new and high quality features. 
This pickup has full tone color, stable sustain effect, keeps sound clarity. With strong magnification function, it is harmonious. There they go again with the f***ing harmonious. Let it go already. Th this is how it came. This is a sandwich bag. You will not be able to unsee what is in here. <laughs> This is so f***ing rancid. Oh yeah, at least it came with the screws. I mean, I paid a buck for it. I didn't know what to expect. Well, let's let's take off the cap, shall we? Ah, oh, oh my god. I mean, let's call a spade a spade here, right? They charged me a buck for something that's essentially landfill, pretending it's a pickup. Well, you're lying if you tell me that's not the worst crap you've ever heard in your life. <laughs> now, I was wondering why I was getting so much feedback until I yelled into it and realized it was so cheap that it was actually microphonic, like a Fender pickup from the 60s. <laughs> this is the worst crap I have ever bought. Now, I know that I paid a buck forty for this pickup, but you know what I can get for a euro and forty cents? A bag of Kit Kat, and guess which one I've gotten more enjoyment out of. And last but not least, the cheapest pickup in the world, I give you the Guitar Pickup Professional Piezo Contact Microphone Pickup for Guitar Accessories Mandolin Ukulele Acoustic Stringed Instrument. Now, it says here 63 cents, but when I first bought this pickup like 4 or 5 months ago, I paid 10 cents for it. Here it is. The AD20 Transducer. This multi-purpose electronic pickup can be used for various acoustic instruments such as guitar, violin, mandolin, ukulele, etc. Now tragically, because I'm an idiot, I don't have an acoustic guitar. However, I do have my sister's crappy 30 euro ukulele. Let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Uh, I don't know, uh, last week's video is somewhere over here. Subscribe somewhere down there. I'm gonna go eat some more Kit Kat. Goodbye. <laughs>